tuning into the Golden State Media Contest Football Podcast, where we talk the latest news, rumors, and games of the NFL and college football. From the latest signings to this year's breakout stars and all the news in between, as always, I'm Jeremiah. And I am Alex. Hey, so, what's, what's up? up? What's up today, man? Jinx. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing good. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, you see those, uh, speaking of, we were talking about it earlier, is a Sacramento, Sacram, Sacramento, Mentians? What I don't know I don't know what's oh, oh the the residents that live in Sac- yeah. Sacramentians I, I don't think. I don't know Sacramentans I don't know maybe I don't, yeah, know. I don't know it's it's weird how they say it Sacramentans Sacramentians I, I, I don't, don't know. know but yeah uh, you see those new as a Kings fan you see those new Sacramento Kings jerseys I did what do you think I you did. like them I I do like them uh, I love I'm them a, I'm a huge fan of the baby blue and the throwback the, yeah the throwback jersey and, and the black one right the black one yeah I and like all of them there's another one called the city one. That's the one that yeah, it just says sack on the chest yeah, instead of like, Kings. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, I have that shirt actually, um, not the jersey, but they have the they had the you know the, all the new era stuff, the new um, like the shirts and everything. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there was the ones that like Kings and had the crown, but there's ones that sack, and I have that one. My brother yeah, gave and, it to me. It was like yeah, you know, I like it, especially with the new logo, you know, the new arena, you know, mm-hmm. kind of like a new era. So yeah, I like it. And new I, era from new era. New era from new era. You like that? I do. You and it's just a company. <laughs> no, enough about basketball. This isn't the basketball show. We have some college news for you today with Art Bryles, as we talked about yeah. in our last episode. Yeah. We have some NFL news um, from rookie defensive end third overall pick, Joey Bosa. Yes. And to, and end, in, to, end, to end the show. We have some uh, some news for your fantasy football fans out there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Had something so in y'all going to have to wait and see for that. Yes, yeah, because that's hype, coming I'm gonna, last. I'm gonna hype it up. To, I'm gonna hype up that story so they can stay tuned. Okay, yeah, yeah, because it's yeah, at the end so of the show, so yeah. So I, I, can't, we'll, I can't, I can't tell what's gonna happen with the end of the story. We'll know if you skip too. We always know. Well, yeah. We, we, we always know. know. We always know. Come on. Let's we start the show. Don't, don't skip it. Don't, don't, skip, don't it. skip it. Don't now. skip it. Okay. But let's start. <laughs> let's start the show. Let's start the show. Okay. So yeah, man. Uh, so you want to introduce this news or you want no, me to you, do it? No, you go ahead. You go, go ahead? Okay. You go ahead. Okay, but yeah, okay. Starting off today's show, yeah, apparently a group of uh, donors for Baylor University are pushing. And part of the Board of Regents. And part of the Board of Regents, yeah. Thank you for clarifying that. You're welcome. Are pushing for former head coach R. Bryles to come back, serve a one-year suspension, and coach in 2017. That is ridiculous. Yeah, it is like... Something hard to fathom is just I can't believe they actually entertained this idea, you know, especially what happened during his um, tenure there. And yeah. I don't want to get back. I don't want to get far into that. But from a football standpoint, I I also don't um, see how they entertain it as well. You know. Yeah, we talked about this on a couple episodes ago, um, and I don't see how, as a university, you could entertain this idea. You went along with this um, termination for a reason. It's to get the problems out of the university and whether or not he knew about it or just didn't do anything about it or whatever the case was, he was there. Yeah. And the main thing is they want those faces gone. And no matter how good you are at something, like I said, um, I've always said, O.J. Simpson was a great football player. Yeah. but people Apparently wasn't a great person. No. You can and be a people, very good and, head coach and, and, and who knows. And people don't remember O.J. as a football player. Not anymore. No. Yeah, and I don't mean like our Bryles isn't a murderer or anything like that. What I'm saying is you can – I'm sure he was a great football coach. But this situation comes down to more than football. It's about life. It's about the school, and it's about the lives of these people that this affected. And whether or not he was not responsible but knew about it or didn't do anything about it or whatever the case was they saw fit to terminate him, it is probably not the best move in their, in their best um, – it's probably not the best move for them, I should say to bring him back yeah i don't think it's a good idea at all because you know there this is a school that's you know based on faith you know yes and, it's a christian yeah, school and the fact that what happened during his tenure there is just i just can't believe that some people will actually want um Bryles, you know to be head of a program that had these problems you know yeah, yeah, I and, I um, I find it very very odd. Not very odd, odd, but I mean I get it. We you, you and I were talking about it while we were writing the show out. Ba- um, boosters, they're they have a lot of influence. Their influence yeah. is big, and their intentions are for the exactly, sport yeah. to succeed. They make money when the sport does well. Yeah, and they know he wins games. Exactly. So it makes sense for them to want to do this. I personally do not see it as 
the right idea at all. You know, you have a lot of boosters. You know, you've had boosters in the past. The whole USC um, issue throughout the 2009, what, the six, I think, season was yeah. what they got um, their um, penalties for and Reggie Bush's Heisman's taken away. Heisman taken away, excuse me. Yeah, it was a, um, big, it was a booster big, yeah. that was apparently doing a lot of this stuff, you know. Um, I just, I don't think Art Bryle should be back at Baylor under any circumstances. I don't, I don't think he should either. And how could he have control of a program that was under a nine-month investigation that was determined to pose, you know, as a risk to the campus uh, safety and the integrity of the university? You know, like, like... I just don't see it happening, you know? Yeah, and the the um, investigation's still not over. Exactly. They just launched too. a task force to um, it just, it invest was, I'm just more. Saying, it was nine months, you know, between, you know, when it started and when he was suspended with the intent to, to terminate. Yeah. You know? Um, but, and it's, it's I just, I don't I don't like this. Um, as I read in a uh, in an article, it says that the possible return to um, it was an interview of an alleged victim's family. Yeah, I Unbelievable! Did I did read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Um, they. I'm sorry. What I was supposed to say is, um, on Friday, Baylor announced that it had launched a task force to implement Pepper Hamilton's 105 recommendations regarding sexual assault protocol and so on and so forth. Um, yeah. So Bob Simpson, a key uh, Baylor donor who is close to our bio, said, "We don't know yet. We'd like to see that in terms of a return." Um, the former chairman, Gail. I guess that's how you say Gail. Galloway uh, said, our brow is one of the finest men I've known. He certainly deserves to be reinstated. It comes down to, like I said, you can be the best person in the world. Great football coach, whatever it is. This situation is more than that. Um, for, yeah, this, all, for all we know, what this, went down at Penn State, you know, lots of people uh, you know, wanted, yeah, would have a, wanted him to be reinstated. Yeah, it was actually know? a story that became bigger than football, you know? Like yeah. the problem is, it was a football problem. It was just... Yeah, and when it comes down to football, it's a game. Exactly, and like I said, Bob Browns can be the best person in the world. He can he won a lot of football games. It is not in the best intentions for Baylor to re yeah, to rehire him. I'm surprised. And then I mentioned this a couple episodes ago when we talked about Bob Browns is that you know they have to change that culture at the university, and you know we think we you know they're on the right track to do that. When you know with Dr uh, Jim Grope at the helm. No, we think they're on their way doing that. But yeah, yeah, I think he's a good coach. Yeah, exactly. I think it's they're better off to have Jim Grope right now as an acting, you know, an intern. Basis. Oh, 100 percent. And then you know, possibly depending on how, what he does, possibly get a, a a permanent hire there. You know, like I said, I still think my Singletary is the best guy for this job. You know. Mike, oh, you still think Singletary? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we'll I'm see how gonna, that turns out. I'm never gonna out. let that go. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Well, we'll see how that turns out. Um, but no, I, I and I'm not saying that Art Bryles doesn't deserve another head coaching position. No, no, we're not saying that. I'm Nothing saying, like that. But I, he, I don't think he should be back at Baylor. No, and not only that, it probably I don't know if he should be back on the sidelines anytime soon. I think it's I think uh, 2017. I think it's a little too soon for him to come back. You know, because this is kind of like still this will still be on people's minds. You know, because oh, about absolutely, this, this story blew up nationally. No, it quite it was going on quietly, and then until a couple of months ago, and then mm -hmm. they made all headlines, you know, for what they did. Yeah, know? and the current um, president of Baylor too has remained silent. Um, yeah, the interim. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised they just haven't shot the idea down to say no, this isn't. Yeah, happen. they uh, apparently. I guess the board of reasons were uh, apparently were going to vote on Monday, but uh, to bring back Barrows or not, and but. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, from what I've read, I've read other sources, that there was no vote taken on Bryles' appointment, and there's no confirmation that a meeting will take place. You know, regard regarding his appointment. So we don't know what's going on with that school, and we don't know what's going on with the program as of right now. So it, it pretty much seems like it's all over the place. Yeah, I mean these these yeah. people are f they're adults, they're fully grown adults. So they know what these what this ac action is going to bring. Yeah, they know what if what they do this, what's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to cause a. But media we, we gotta, firestorm. We got to think about what the state they're in. Remember, this is Texas, where football is like king over there. You know, remember. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that yeah, you know, these donors they do play a lot of influence. They're still smart enough to know what's going to happen. Exactly. If they, they, do it. they have they they know what's going to happen. But you know, it's like it's to a point where you know the uni it's, it's it's like the football becomes bigger than the university. You know, it's kind of like up to that point right now. Well. Hopefully it doesn't happen. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I I think it's uh, unlikely it's going to happen um, anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But if it does, then we'll be talking about yeah, it. We'll be talking about. It. That's a different story for a different episode. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, man, uh, I just don't see it happening, and I don't, I think it's the wrong thing to do to bring him back. I do too. Yeah, I do too. But like we said, if there's any news, any more information on that, we will talk about it. But we're gonna take a quick break here and then get into the NFL. Yeah. And Joey Bosa. Yeah. So we'll be right back at the Golden State Media Concepts Football Podcast. Don't go anywhere. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on <laughs> iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Welcome back to the Golden State Media Contest Football Podcast. And for next on the discussion is uh, Joey Bosa. It looks like he's having an old-fashioned rookie holdout. So what's the news on this, Alex? So Joey Bosa, uh, the like we said, third, former, recent, most recent third overall pick of the NFL draft by the Chargers, uh, is holding out of his deal. He hasn't shown up training camp. Um, he says he wants a deal that would guarantee pay for Bosa's. Oh, I'm sorry, Bosa says he would like a deal that would guarantee pay for his first four seasons. If even if he's released before it ends, interesting to say the least. I suppose. What do you think about this? Yeah, it's very interesting. You know, the, the fact that I think we we're reading earlier that he was was at the uh, out of the top 19. He's not signed. Yes, he's the only yeah. remaining player of the top 19 draft picks. And I want to say there's only two or three that aren't signed besides him also. Um, but he's a top five pick, so. Top three pick, yeah. Yeah. I think. He was, he was regarded as the best player in the draft to some people. Oh, yeah. Some, yeah, yeah uh, apparently to the Chargers also. I think they had him listed as their best, seeing as they didn't need either quarterbacks. So, But, yeah, I can, I can see it happening before training camp because, remember, last year, Tennessee Titans then signed quarterback Marcus Mariota until, like, training camp. Yeah, well, I mean, so, that's around this time. It's around this time. So I it, I don't see it, I don't see Joey Bosa holding out. No, 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 I, no, I don't no. see him, I don't see him pulling a Michael Crabtree when <laughs> Crabtree, you know, you know, Crabtree holding out to, like, the eighth game of his rookie year. But, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I just, I don't see him doing that. Um, that I do think this deal is going to get done, and the Chargers yeah. do need him. Yeah, and so it's apparently him. he's staying away from the practice facility because of the stalemate negotiations. A lot of of, uh, of um, language of the contract is being debated here. Um, that somebody was a source informed of the negotiations, but uh, yeah, he I think he kind of needs to be there. Um, I mean, it's tricky, especially around this time, that you want to you, know, you want to be. No, you want your, you want to be there, especially yeah, when you're a first round pick. You're you know you're looked on to be. One of the top guys in the yeah they they expect you to be one of the top guys yeah. in the franchise you know exactly especially yeah. the top three you know yeah um he can't be fined for missing training camp because he's not on a contract yeah. but it's not what you want you know he'll make his money but yeah and then what you say that it was the offset language is what's holding it back yes yeah. so um uh, we were talking about yeah the issues around so. yes yeah I'm sorry to cut you off there the issues and the centers around offset language uh, with Bosa's representation pushing for a part or a pack stripped of those terms. So pretty much the, they don't want the typical terms of the negotiation contract. They want, they want it to be, like I said, guaranteed money through the first four years of his contract. Um, pretty much the reality, yeah, like I said, he wants that deal. Um, even if he's released before that deal ends. So that's, that's the weird thing. Um, I was just reading there a second ago to, to tell you what I was talking about, but Offset language, and then um, that's one thing, too, is their last um, four first-round picks, they haven't changed that offset language at all. Yeah. So it's interesting to see who budges first here. I mean, 
he kind of has the leverage in a sense, but they also do. Uh, it's in a weird way, like it's kind of even, you know. He's like, "Well, I just won't play," and they're like, "Okay, well, just don't play." But then they also just, you know, invest a third round pick in him. Yeah, I'm mean, sorry, the third overall pick in him. So I think it's not. I feel like it's obviously going to be something bigger than it is. It's it's probably. You think, you think it's going to blow up? No, I'm saying no. it's obviously right now. It's it's probably oh, not it, even it that seem, huge seem, of a deal. So it seems bigger than what it really is. It's just. The, what the you know headlines are saying basically exactly yeah. yeah I think I think it's just more of a news story when there's no football you know what I mean like it's yeah, a, yeah it's more of a it's more of a thing right now that because there's not much going on yeah. and now unfortunately we t- we were going to try to stretch that but there's not much to talk about but you did forget last episode to talk about a little bit of news of uh, a holdout that ended as opposed to one getting started with Joey Bosa here oh yes uh, yes I the completely forgot the horribly long horribly long. <laughs> Horribly long. Oh yeah, hold the holdout. Let me. I gotta get my notes out. I gotta get my notes out. Just hold on, hey, there, I, people. We're we're waiting. We're, we're we are waiting. Um, excited. Unless you want to Ryan and see Chris me again. No, we are waiting excitedly. You got uh, you got some yeah, time. Sorry, I got a little carried away in the last episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Miami Dolphins uh, defensive back Rashad Jones ended his one day holdout today one day oh my one god day holdout. yeah speaking of holding outs yeah and his one day holdout so yeah what'd you uh what'd you think about that well he, he was talking <laughs> about getting a new deal we yeah. talked I, t- I mentioned him as a as a person a couple episodes ago that was looking for a new deal and um pretty much he showed up to dolphins mini camp on tuesday uh, electing not to skip he could have been fined so that was a good show uh you know choice on his part but um he, yeah, he pretty much says it's behind me i'm here to play football and um, what he was trying to do uh pretty much he he thinks he's the best safety in the league and he uh i know there's some great safeties in this league i have a lot of respect for those guys but my body work speaks for itself he was trying to coax a you know extension out of them he planned to sit out of all of training camp in order to do so um to coax a contract extension that would include more guaranteed money. He's 28 years old. He's set to make just over seven million. Yeah. In each of the next two so seasons. Uh, yeah. He feels that, a little bit more worth yeah, than, yeah, than yeah. that. Well, I was gonna originally I was gonna talk about him how you know he was on my list for players that were gonna have a contract extension, mm-hmm. but I never got to him for some reason. But yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I think he's gonna he missed one day of. Uh, mini camp, and he's going to get fined for that because of the CBA. Do you know, know? what he gets fined for? Yeah, twelve thousand. Uh, twelve thousand seven hundred sixty-five. Yeah. For missing. For missing one day. They could excuse Man, the fine. Of, that's a lot of money for me and you, right there. Okay, yeah, that's nothing. Right? Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. if you got that contract, it's, it's nothing. Uh, Miami could excuse the fine as good faith um, if they chose to indeed do this contract negotiation. Like they're like, you know what, you came back. We respect that. We're going to go ahead and move forward with some of the yeah, contract. Yeah, give him a little know. slap on the wrist. Exactly. Yeah. They Well, not even necessarily slap on the wrist. Slap on the wrist would make him pay it. You know what I mean? But he, they could, out of good faith, decide to waive the fine. You know, not make him pay it and say, you know, we, we, are, we respect you coming back pretty much. And we don't want to make you pay this. But we want to get a deal done. Just give us time. Kind of thing like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, very interesting. Uh, and uh, he's a... Pretty good player for you know that defense also. So he is. Yeah. He's um, as you and I like to watch because we are TV fiends at the same time. The top 100 players of 2000. And yeah, he every was, year, uh, you know, 2000. And believe 64. He was 64. Yeah, I am looking at it right now. In my notes. Oh, well, this I have. There's a video playing. Of oh, do you have you? Oh, yeah, of the literal uh, presentation of the him in that episode. Yeah. yeah. Do you now want to play for the good? Pe- okay, we no, can. He's do, a great player. Do. He's a good tackler in yeah. the box. He's a good ball hawk. I I did really didn't know his name, much about him other than his name um, after the, you know leading into the season and he's a he's a good player. Yeah, he uh, really kind of kind of had a quiet year, um, I suppose you know. It kind of have a quietly little, good though. Quietly good year, yeah. You know, he kind of he wasn't talked about as much, but yeah, he was really good. Yeah, I, th- I think he'll he'll get he'll get some pay. I think he'll get some pay there. Yeah. I think he's worth it. I mean, he played pretty well, especially in a, in a division with pretty good quarterbacks. Hey, well, you know what though. If he would have skipped the next two practices, uh-huh. he would so have. So three uh, total, you mean? Yeah, he okay. would have. Uh, yeah, you know, skipping the next two practices would have cost him a total of seventy six thousand and a five hundred and eighty. You know what? That reminds me of who was it? I want to. It was somebody who uh, he just didn't even care about the fines. He's yeah. he's like, yeah, I'll pay him. Oh, it was Michael. It was Michael Strahan. Yeah, he would miss. 
the um, first whatever few weeks of like the OTAs, which you could get fined for then. Uh, I don't know if it's still relevant now. No, but I don't he, think you get no. I but think he, yeah, well, whatever it was, he would get voluntary. fined. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, it's voluntary and mandatory, but um, there's ones that you can get fined, and he would miss them. He's like, I'll pay it. That's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay it. I don't mind. You know? Yeah, he's or made so like, much money. Or you can be the opposite of Marshall Lynch. I'm just here, so I won't get fined. Very true. Yeah. Very true. But, hey, that that scary holdout is now over of one day. <laughs> one day. Yeah. Can you imagine holding out one day? I can't even imagine holding out for like. If I was like, making thousand like, dollars, no. Like you know how I said earlier about Michael Crafty. Yeah. I can't believe I still can't believe he hold out. I still can't believe. Yeah, I can't believe he did that long. I can't believe it that long, man. The the weird lives of NFL players. Man, okay. Well, on that note, we're gonna take one more quick break here, and we are gonna come back with that news on DraftKings and FanDuel. You weren't supposed to tell them that, but well, well. well. Oh, well, you're right. You weren't supposed to say it was supposed to be DraftKings and FanDuel. See, now, now they're not going to listen. It's not going to be DraftKings and FanDuel. <laughs> we will see you guys in a second. Don't go anywhere, and we will have some not news on those things. <laughs> be right back. Yeah. Are you looking for help for your fantasy football team? Check out the GSMC Fantasy Football Podcast. Get today's best advice on who to start, who to sit, even who you should draft. From sleeper picks to red-hot lineups, they got it all covered for you. That's gsmcpodcast.com backslash fantasy-football-podcast. We'll cover traditional leagues, dynasty, PPR, even IDP leagues. When you need fantasy help, there's just one show to hit up. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and follow Follow them on Twitter. Visit gsmcpodcast.com for more info. And we're back with some news we've never talked about ever before on this show, and you don't know it's going to come, so it's going to be super important and surprising. Jeremiah? All right. (laughs) Okay. All right. All right. Thank you for staying, you guys. Remember, we hyped this news up a whole episode, and you won't be disappointed. But for your fantasy football fans out there, the possibility of a merger between DraftKings and FanDuel could become a reality. So yeah, uh, apparently Bloomberg has reported that the merger talks have been going on for some time, but a deal could still fall apart. But the fact that these two companies can merge, it's huge news, especially with all we know what's going on between these two companies, you know, facing, you know, legal out, legal battles. But I'm not going to get into all that. But, yeah, man, what do you think of this news? Is it? Do you think it's good for that these two companies are going to merge? Uh, I'm not one. I don't really love play, enjoy playing the um, – I don't really enjoy the like the one-day Oh, you don't do it? Fantasy I, I, stuff. I, I, never, I, don't, I don't really either. I played that. I don't love it. I like the, I like the whole season yeah. kind of deal, you know? I, I like the commitment, you know? Yeah, uh, I like I like having a team and yeah and, and going through it and and really yeah you know like like uh like you're almost doing a team yourself. So um I personally not much of a player of the of the one day fantasy teams, but that being said, I think it's smart for them to to uh, maybe join one another because they're practically the same thing. Yeah, they offer the same product. Yeah, and, and it's very similar style and layout. So I think yeah, I think it's a. Uh, not, not a bad idea between the two of them. Yeah, I think I think it's smart and understandable why they're doing it, you know? Because, mm-hmm. you know, uh, these two companies, they offer the same product. But what's another achievement they want to uh, do is they want to make fantasy sports legal in all 50 states. And I think, you know, them two merging is a step forward to that. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah, you know, I I think that, that I think it'd be uh, huge. You know, for fantasy sports. Well, all right, man. Yeah. I agree with you. Hey, yeah. um, we're going to get going here, but do you have any fun plans for the weekend? Uh, no. I'm going to SACCON. Oh, are you? Yeah, for no. those of you on Sunday. For those of you who don't know, if you're familiar with cons, like Comic-Cons, I'm going to the San Diego Comic-Con um, in July next month, actually. But, yes, I am going to SACCON on Sunday. So, um, okay. I'll tell you guys all about that all on... Right. Uh, tell, tell, tell us about that on Monday, man. I'll tell you guys and, uh, all about it on well, Monday. Well, it's only, like... Five days from the next show, so I'm pretty sure something will happen between now and then. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, we'll see you guys on we, Monday. Yeah, we're going to see you guys next week. Uh, like, as always, you can find us on Golden State Media Concepts Football Podcast yeah. uh, on Facebook. You can find us on GSMC underscore football on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and then our website, gsmcpodcast.com. Yeah, all right. Well, you got anything else to say? 
Um, I don't have anything else to say. It's, right. it's the last show of the week, so you have something to say? Oh, yeah. Catch you on the flippity flip. I'll catch you cats on the flippity flip. Have a good, safe weekend, everybody.